Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Pokemon Scarlet. Now, I have to say, I've done a lot of grinding off screen, so I have a, a few more Pokemon that are level 100 now, that I've been working on. Uh, I also had a lot of money, but I also have been spending on that on held items, basically, because they cost a lot. Uh, but anyway, the first thing I want to say, now that I'm back again after a month of not recording this, I think it is. I think? I can't remember, anyway. Um... Something I want to mention is if we are here at the top of the map, next to the the Team Star base for the fairy types, uh, if we go ahead and make a picnic, which this is the more reliable way to do this, uh, and make ourselves a sandwich, a ha ham sandwich specifically, which is number 80 in the log, which would be down here. Those are the ingredients it needs. It will uh, it will raise. Uh, encounter power for normal type Pokemon, which make a lot of chances appear around here. And if you manually battle them, it can be a very good way to raise your Pokemon because you'll get a lot of XP from every manual fight that you do. So that's something you can do to raise your Pokemon, especially if you have a lucky egg given to one of your Pokemon. That also really helps, which is in here somewhere. Do 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 do. It's in here somewhere. I've also bought a yeah, I bought a lot of stuff. Lucky Egg, it will increase the extra XP points if you give it to a Pokemon. That's, ver that's very helpful for raising Pokemon levels. Uh, let me think, what else is there I was going to talk about? I've been playing this for a little bit and I don't remember anything, somehow. Where did the memory go? It's because I started recording and now I don't remember anything. I guess I can go to some other things. Oh, I remember what else there was I wanted to do. Let me go up to... Montenevra Village. Montenevra Village. Because we can actually do stuff with the bottle caps we've been collecting. I've got a few more from uh, Five Star Raids. Which is probably the better way to grind your Pokemon after level 50. To get, um... Yeah, leveling up. Because it'll give you extra large and large XP candies. Uh, but anyway, this guy here, if we talk to him... Hey, I can put any Pokemon that's level 50 or higher through hyper training if you like. What do you say? Do you want one of your Pokemon to go through hyper training? Yes. Which one of your Pokemon would you like to hyper train? We can pick a Pokemon out of our group, which I'm going to try and pick Skeledurge. We can also pick from the boxes, which is very helpful. Do you want to use a bottle cap or gold cap? Bottle cap, which I don't I have not seen a gold bottle cap before, but I imagine it means you can do this to all of your stats. But with a regular bottle cap, you can raise one of your main stats, which there are six per Pokemon, I believe, to max, which means I have seven bottle caps after this much extra work that I've been doing. So I can only max out one Pokemon, which I probably want to max out my special attack with Skeleturge. Let me see how much that increases. Hang on. So two, seven, two to start off. Then I think if I exit... No, hang on. How do I- how do I do? I'm assuming there's a button I press. Right. Maybe I have to do multiple? Oh no, I just have to start the training. There's an actual selection thing that I can do. So, 272. Here we come stronger. Do you want to continue the hyper training? Yes, please. Now... It's 301. And we can do this with all of our stats to completely max out the IVs, I think is referred to. Uh, and any uh, any stat that you've already maxed out on a Pokemon will be marked with a crown on this menu. So that's one way to find out how much more training you need to do. Uh, but I'm probably going to do a lot more of this at some point. I don't know how, when. I'll probably do a lot more of it off screen, just making po Pokemon stronger. Even though I probably will need a lot more bottle caps. That's something I'm just going to need to do, because I want a lot of- a lot of strong Pokemon that I can just use... ...whenever. I'm sure there's something else I was thinking about. Oh yeah, you can buy bottle caps from Chansey- no, not Chansey Supply. Uh, Deli Bird Presents. So you can buy bottle caps for 20,000... ...per- per thing, so... Which I don't- I can't afford anymore because of buying all these held items. Anyway, that's that. I can't think of what else there was. There was- I had a whole list of things I wanted to do, but I guess I've 
gone through them, so... Let me see if I can find a raid that I want to try out. There's one there. Let me see what I can do. Let me see indeed. Uh, I think I can handle this one. It's a ghost type, so I have maxed out, uh, Zoroark. Zoroark. I don't know. So let me pull that out of my boxes. I wish you could actually see the markings that you've placed on the Pokemon. Just over, over all the things. Ah, uh, so let's get out Zoroark. Which I probably could also max out its stats if I wanted to. I've also given a special held item, which I'm... Can I check that from the summary? Probably. Razor Claw, which I, could, I bought from the... Delibird Presents. As well. Sharply Hooks... Uh, the Sharply Hooked Claw boosts the critical hit ratio of the holder's moves, which is good for Zoroark's moves right now, because it means that I can actually do decent enough damage to what I need it to do. Let me see if I can actually do this fight, though, because I'm not sure if I'm actually ready for this fight. Let me actually see what I can do with, um, my other stuff that I have. I also have a couple of candies I can use, so I'm going to just use those, because I can. Basically. Uh, but let's see if I can raise my stats when have any effect. This is my other problem, which I think... No, I can do this. Okay, iron. I think if I can't do it, it won't let me, so... Defense. Just gonna do this with all these. Speed. I don't know if this is the way you're supposed to do this, because I have no idea. I've never done this much stat training before. Special attack. And I assume this is special defense, then. Probably. I just need to keep going through this, probably, to do that. Let me see what the stats are now. That's pretty good. <laughs> that's pretty, that's actually very good looking. Look at that speed, though. That's incredible. I've also changed the, um... The, what's it called? The... Ah, uh, the, the... Hang on. I can check this. I've changed the... Nature of Pokemon on a few of these. I don't think this one I have. Uh, but using in the candy menu, using these mints, we can actually change the Pokemon's natures, which this actually also tells us what stats will change. So, uh, attack stat will grow stronger, however, its special attack will may suffer. So, and but all, all of these different ones have a different effect, basically. I don't think you have to do it, like, at an earlier level so that, that those stats will improve over time. I think it does just change them automatically, but I can't, can't verify that right now, so... So keep that in mind that that may or may not be a thing when you're training a Pokemon, but yeah. Anyway, let's try fighting this thing. Only six stars, so it's not seven stars. But let me take a look at this. There's a whole lot of stuff that I've been trying to plan in, in advance. I'm doing a lot of the grinding my Pokemon levels off screen. So I can actually have that just ready for these tough fights, so. Okay, let's see how we go. I've got Night Slash as my main move. It's only 70 power, which is not the highest attack that I have. But it's got a high chance of landing a critical hit. With addition of my held item to the same thing, it'll just have a high crit ratio. But I don't know if this is going to work out. Oh, I need a different Pokemon. This is not going to work. I'm, I don't even think I have a backup Pokemon for this. Foul play. I could try Golden Go. Yeah, this is not working. And something that I really hate about Terror Raids is getting knocked out because the timer runs out. It's it's just so annoying to take. It takes so much longer for some reason. Or at least it feels like it. I'm pretty sure it does take longer though. Like 10 times longer for some reason. Just because if you exit the battle by running, you... It goes to white, and then that's it, basically. It loads so much faster for some reason. At least, I, I think. I might be wrong, but anyway. Let me, let me check. 
I mean, it's taking its time getting to my turn for some reason, but yeah, fade to white. And not waiting 10 seconds, probably. Oh, it is taking a little bit to load, but it's it's much faster because it doesn't have to do the whole cutscene, so... Yeah, that's way fast. Anyway, let me try a backup Pokémon, I guess. This is not gonna go well. I might have to abandon this Terror Raid, unfortunately. And this is a bit risky, putting Golden Go in. Because Golden Go is Ghost-type, and it's kind of a... Uh, which one will... <laughs> It, it goes both ways. This is a two-way street. Uh, do I have something I could really use for this? Choice band. Uh, attack stat is boosted, but we can only use a uh, single move. Any Anything that's a choice item, held item, means we can only use one move, so... Um, smoke bomb means we can run from any encounter. I'm pretty sure I've said that before. Focus band. That's an interesting one, because if we, uh, have... Yeah, we're able to endure with 1 HP sometimes. It depends, though. Uh, these are just specific types. Muscle Band. Uh, impre increases the power of physical moves. Let me check what moves Golden Go has, because phys that's a pretty good item. But it depends on what moves we have, so let me rearrange. So, uh, special, 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 and that was just recover, so. That's not what I need to put on Golden Go right now. Let me see what else I can do. I could do Expert Belt, which could work for this. Uh, Focus Smash, Sash, is basically the other thing that we had, but specifically for... If, if our Pokemon has full HP, and would be knocked out. Um... Rip Claw. That's not really what I need either. Yeah, some of these uh, choice things aren't really what I need right now. I could try Assault Vest just to have more um, special defense, but I don't know if that's what I need right now. Uh, also, Throat Spray is interesting because sound-based moves, which is the thing that... Um, What's our starter thing? Skeledurge has. Um, if he gets into trouble, like there are specific moves that will actually work against sound-based moves I've found out about this. Also, that reminds me. It's not Lono, it's Iono. Because the I looks like an L to me. But it's also weird because the I doesn't look like a capitalized I to me either, so. At least not when I saw it, so. Uh, but Throat Spray will boost the special attacks for sound-based moves, which is what Scudditch has, like I said. Um, I'm not sure what to do about this right now. I guess I'm gonna just go with Expert Belt and hope. No, not use. Give. <sighs> it's so weird. Why can't they just hold the thing? Like, I don't know. Anyway, hold to give. It's very specific, but anyway. Let me try this again and see how this goes. It might not go well. It's almost guaranteed to not go well. I need a much better plan for this. This is only six stars though, so I don't, I, yeah. Also, it's, it's, it's interesting the way I'm doing this right now, where I'm grinding off screen. Because I'm also trying to not catch Pokemon off screen, which means I've had to say no to a lot of Pokemon that I don't have yet, probably. Although I also haven't got a list of what Pokemon I don't have, so I don't know which ones are which, so. I'll have to actually probably do that, just to keep track. It's quite a few that I need to evolve still. It's actually crazy going through the Pokedex and seeing which ones actually have most, like I have most of them, so. Anyway, let's see how we, well we go with this. Shadow Ball. The main problem with this fight right now is the, the type that the Pokemon is and not the Terra type. Because they have the moves that are going to be effective against different things. This is going much better than the other fight, though. Especially because we're not taking as much damage. It's paralyzed, that's good. The expert belt is really helping out here right now. It's hard to use the, the King's Rock to get them to flinch, I've noticed. Like, that doesn't happen very often. It might be good if you have a move that already makes them flinch, just to increase that. So, yeah. 
Also, good as gold. That's pretty good. Very good. Good as gold, even. Ah, uh, but I think we can actually win this terror raid. So we just keep spamming this button until I win, basically. But you need a lot of good Pokemon to actually be able to handle any raid, because you have to swap out. You can't just have... At least in my experience, you can't just have one Pokemon that can handle any... ...strong terror raid, so... You have to have a Pokemon of basically every terror type. Not just have one that, like... ...can be both types. But one that, like, you have to be ha very specific with the terror type. Although I can probably get a good coverage if I actually knew the type advantages, so... Keep going. I don't think I need to heal yet, so I might be alright, but I will need to terrestrialize. Which is the main thing. Hey, critical hit, that's good. That wasn't a lot of damage for a critical hit. Yeah, this is a good type matchup right now, because Golden Go is immune to whatever attack he's trying to use. Let's put it ghost against ghost, because that'll be probably our best chance of winning this. Because the, 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 the extra health it really doesn't go down very fast, but the timer does, so... Shadow Ball. Just every time, Shadow Ball. There we go. Gonna need to do that a few times, though. Also, the field effect is currently healing me, which is also quite helpful. Please move. Terror raids are weird. I mean, I like terror raids. They're really cool. But the way that the timer goes down while other stuff is happening is really annoying. And the way that you have to, like, the turns work is really weird as well, because... You could be halfway between, like, one menu and actually doing the move. And the, the Pokémon that you're attacking can still move. Before you, so... It's really weird, real-time fight that doesn't feel real-time, so... And the AI, AIs never terrestrialize, so... It's always on you to win, so... Unless you're doing online, so... Which would probably be the way to go, to be honest. I don't know if I, if I have this Pokémon yet or not. I feel like I do, but I can't remember. I'm gonna have to really make a list. But I just want to beat a, a a black crystal terror raid. Lost a lot of health, but we're about to break through its stance. Stance, I don't know. <laughs> it's weird having an accent that changes just all the time. I can pick and choose my accent sometimes. I don't know, it's just like... Depends on which... Like, the context of what accent for a word that I'd like to use. Is that weird? I don't know. Anyway. Let's finish this thing off if I can. Except I fell asleep! I thought I was immune to that. What? Come on, wake up, Golden Go. You're failing as a Golden Go. I mean, it's not immune to everything, everything, but it's immune to most things, so... Please wake up. Oh! I need to use my terror as much as possible, please. I just want to win. Also, Mold Breaker breaking the mold, which is, to me, is just a meme. I mean, it still is, but it actually, um, works against other abilities that basically pre prevent Pokemon from lasting, like, st staying staying strong on one HP and stuff like that. I can't remember what other things it is effective against, but there are certain other abilities that it basically breaks open, which is quite helpful, so... I might as well catch this since this is my first, uh, what's it called, raid. Black Star, no, Black Crystal Terror Raid. I don't know what to call it, it's a six star raid. <laughs> Just go with that. It's that easy. Also, if you boost the um, encounter rate of a Pokemon with a meal, that you, you can already find that Pokemon plentifully. That will also increase the chances of finding a shiny of that Pokemon, so... But there we go. Six stars, and we got some pretty good rewards for that, actually, so... Got a rare candy. No bottle cap, though, so... That's what I really want to get more of. I should also probably look at the Pokedex to see what other Pokemon I need to find. 
I've only got 300 or 400 or something like that, but it's... I feel like I should have more than that. Hey, registered. Grass fighting. So that, I guess that was a new one. Good thing I did that then. Jeremy, this is Jack. We ju just saw the terrestrial energy reading from one of the black crystals disappear a moment ago. Do you know anything about that? Uh, it, it sure was rough. What? You battled the Pokemon there? Huh, I thought I made it clear that was too risky. What do you mean? Pokemon in the wild never fight other Pokemon. It's so safe out here. I mean, the terror raids, they do kind of attack us, so... Kind of, but we go into their, their hiding... I don't know. Their little dens. Anyway. Well, in any case, I'm just glad you're okay, Jeremy. Your efforts have helped us come to understand the laws governing terrestrial energy emissions. Thanks for your help. I'm sending you something as a thank you gift. Oh, hey. Thank you. <laughs> Look at how low that is. Still, even after all this, it seems... Uh, that the amount of energy being emitted is slowly growing. That means we may continue to see more black crystals appear in the future. I don't imagine you'll listen to me even if you if I try to stop you. So I won't be too firm with you. But please continue to be careful out there. Ah, by the way, Director Clavel was, uh, would be madder than a rampaging primate if he finds out. So let's keep this between us, us two. Talk to you later. Okay. Well, that was a six-star raid. I don't know if I'm going to be able to find a seven-star raid and try to win that, which is very unlikely. Uh, but I can take a look at probably another raid. There are no other six-star, seven-star... No, there is. There's a flying. Which I guess I can do. It's going to be interesting, but I can do that, so... Let me take a look at that, then. Just gonna need to set up which Pokemon I'm gonna take with me. Let me put away these held items. Just in case I need them. It probably would make sense to leave them on those Pokemon so I know what I'm doing. Uh, but we're gonna switch in. Where is he? Dragonite. So let's do that. I have so many more Pokemon I wanna train. I wanna have basically every Pokemon leveled up to 100. Which is a very crazy goal to aim for. But that's just the kind of person I am for some reason, is just having a full army of Pokemon to pick, pick between. Just because I can't pick and choose before I want to level them up, so... I have to level them all up so I know which ones I want to take with me, basically. Which is not a great strategy. Uh, but anyway. Also, something else I need to clarify because I've made this mistake. Uh, Gimme Good Coins are worth more when selling them to the Poker Shop and not... Uh, transferring them in the TM machine. So it's 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 worth more to actually sell them to the blue guy. You know what I mean. Uh, anyway, am I set up for this? Because electric is effective against flying. And I've got flying dragon, so that's a pretty good combination of things to start off. I don't know what you are. I think I need to catch you if I can. Ah, uh, this is seven stars, so I'm going to be in trouble. I didn't set up for this. Ah! It's fine. I just need a Test the waters, and then I'll figure out what I'm going to do. Okay, here we go. Decidueye. Whoa. Isn't that a different thing? Am I crazy? I'm pretty sure this is not what I was expecting. Anyway. The Unrivaled. They actually have a title when they're seven stars. That's concerning. Please don't destroy me. Thank you. Ah, uh, we might be able to do this, but it's going to be a bit of a tough fight. I'm going to have to keep spamming the buttons. And definitely terrestrialize when I can. Into electric, since that's what this is. It's actually a very good setup for my Dragonite. I don't think I want to change it. It could, I could change it. But I think I'm quite happy with it as it is. It's a bit of a wild card for me right now, though. So... It's, it's just it's a good wild card. Yeah, I think I want to back out of this and set up a little bit better. I just have to wait for it to be my turn. Ooh! That's something. It's hurting itself, but also, I don't like that. Um, I'd be good to increase my special defense. Or something. 
I just really need to set up for this fight a little bit better because I can I could try as I am, but I really want to guarantee a victory at some point. I could also max out my my stuff as well. Maybe. I don't know if I need to use these. I'm gonna have any effect. I'm gonna have any effect. I'm gonna have any effect. Just gonna go through them all. Okay, so I can't do any of that. It was worth a shot. Uh, I definitely wanna probably do the one that the other one, you know what I mean. Unless I want to increase my own special attacks. Physical moves. I think I will do Expert Belt though. And I might also go use my bottle caps for this, just to make sure we're doing alright. Uh, I don't know what uh, Dragonite is currently up to, so... Might already be fine as it is. Because, um, I think... Pokemon from Terror Raids have a higher IV to begin with. So they can, they max out. Either immediately or faster, just something like that. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm making it up. I'm just pretty sure you can get them with pretty good uh, IVs to start with, so. Let's do some hyper training. So I don't have to. <laughs> don't have to think about it. Let's see what stats are already maxed out. HP, special attack, and special defense are already maxed out. So let me do these. And just have a really good Dragonite, hopefully, in theory at least. Because I don't think I can hyper train Dragonite anymore, right? He's so strong it doesn't need hyper training. Well, okay then. I could try getting a different Pokemon for this Terror Raid, but I don't think that's going to happen. I also have to climb all the way back up now. I go from over here. I don't know, it's not really that far, but it feels like it's very far away. Also, it feels like there are a lot of terror raids on the map right now. There might... I don't know. I don't know what happened. I don't know what the... I don't know... I don't know what I'm... I don't even know what I'm trying to say. I'm just stuck in a loop. Oh, 10 gimmickle coins? Wow. That was a lot from one regular small boy. Imagine if that was in Breath of the Wild. It's not really the point in Breath of the Wild, though. I still wish in Breath of the Wild it had, like, the the map, like, sections to show you what's left in each of those sec sections, because that just makes sense. Ah, uh, but anyway. Let's keep going up. That was what I liked about, um, basically the same thing, kind of thing, in A Link Between Worlds, because that was really helpful, to just know which areas left you had to go check. Breath of the Wild is a much bigger world, so... Maybe if it was like a thing you unlocked at some point, at the very least. Maybe even like after a certain amount of Korok Seeds or something. Or had to pay with a certain amount of Korok Seeds. Because you wouldn't know about it until you needed them later on. Then, then you have like a... An interesting... Once you know, you go back into a new file, it's interesting because you have to figure out whether or not you want to upgrade your space in your inventory, or save up for finding more Koroks. I feel like that would be an interesting dynamic, but I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about, so... I'm just making up cool concepts on, out here, and nobody's gonna... Nobody's gonna actually have that implemented into Breath of the Wild ever, so... Let's see if we can get through this terror rate. So far it's not doing incredible, and I'm already taking a lot of damage. I really don't know. I might even need a different Pokemon for this somehow. I might see how far into this I can get and then see if, um... I want to see if, uh, Electric takes less damage from their attacks, basically. But I have to get there first. And I'm probably going to go down before I Terrestrialize just to make sure it lasts. It's really strong. I'm stronger than I was, but the these are still tough fights. And there goes all that time, as well as having to wait for my Pokemon to revive. 
That makes sense. It's already gathering energy. No, 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 no. That's okay. It doesn't have any effects anyway. Can I please get back up? I don't like that it can. The other stuff has to happen while I'm waiting for my Pokemon to revive. I just want the timer to be running the whole time, please. I also have Terra Blast, but I think Thunder's better anyway, so. Unless Terra Blast had a higher crit rate, it's not, probably not worth it, so. Although, I guess it also depends on what stats my Pokemon are, because it uses the best special attack or attack. Depending on which one's better, so. This you avoid the attack! How dare you, Brave Bird? Let's see if this is actually a good idea. It should be a good idea. Never mind, it's still so strong! Ah, I'm not winning this fight, I don't think. And I don't think I will win a Terror Raid for a while yet, still. Despite all my attempts to get stronger off-screen, I still think we're still a fair way off of me getting through some more of these seven-star raids. So I guess that's probably it for now, then. So thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time when I hopefully am a little bit more prepared. Okay, just because I'm interested, I've buffed out this pseudo Wudo as much as I can. This is the only Pokemon that's Rock-type that I've been working on recently. Let me see if I can actually use this. This is actually probably a bad idea because of the typing. Just using a Rock-type, but I don't know. The Electric-type didn't really work out for me. But I, I don't know. I need a different Pokemon for this. But let me see if this will work. I think I can also do Steel? But I don't have a steel type Pokemon that's dedicated for this. I might actually be wrong about that anyway, so. Yeah, because it uses grass type moves, so that's gonna be super effective against me. And I'm not doing anywhere near enough damage. Yeah, this was not gonna work. Worth a shot. You just need a different Pokemon.